Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. In my previous video, I explained the concept of reflection in light with the help of a simple experiment. When light travels from one medium to another medium, it bends. We call this bending of light as refraction. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of refraction in light with the help of a simple experiment. To explain the concept of refraction in light, I take a bottle of this kind. You can see the bottle is partially filled with water. Now, I project light from a laser torch into this uh, bottle. As you can observe, the path of light is not visible. To make uh, the path of light to visible, I add uh, one drop of Dettol in it. When I add one or two drops of Dettol, the water turns milky. You can see. Now I close it. Now I will pass light. Now you can see the path of light is visible in water in which I have added few drops of Dettol. I will try the same with the red laser torch as well. Here also you can easily see the path of light. But uh, the path of light is not visible in air. So what I do, I am going to fill this part with fumes coming out of uh, an incense stick. I lit this uh, incense stick. Now I will fill the bottle with the, the smoke or fumes. I have filled this space with fumes from incense stick. Now I pass the laser light through it. You can see the path of light is visible. When the light enters water from air, it bends. This bending of light is known as refraction. Now, I will repeat the same with red laser. You can see. The light bends when it enters water from air. Let me explain the theoretical part of refraction of light. As I told you earlier, refraction is the bending of light when it travels from one medium to another medium. Let us consider a line that separates one medium from another medium. I take this one as medium 1. And this one is taken as medium 2. Here medium 1 is nothing but air and medium 2 is water. Here when we compare air with water, air is a rarer medium. Rarer medium. And compared to air, water is a denser medium denser medium. What do you mean by rarer medium? Rarer medium is one in which the molecules are far apart. When molecules are close to each other, then we call such medium as denser medium. When light travels from a region of rarer medium to a region of denser medium, it bends. Let me show this to you with the help of a diagram. This is a ray of light. But uh, incident on line of separation. It just uh, bent. Actually it has to go this way. But due to a different uh, medium it will bend. After bending it appears something like I will show this with a different color. It will bend in this way. Now, I draw a normal 
to measure the angle. I told you earlier, a line which is drawn perpendicular to the surface is known as normal. This is a normal. And this ray of light, we call this as incident ray. And this ray is called as refracted ray. Now the angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence. Angle of incidence I. And the angle between normal and refracted ray is called as angle of refraction. Represented by letter R. Whereas in a reflection, we used the term R for angle of reflection. Here it is used for angle of refraction. That you need to remember. Let me tell you what the laws of refraction say. Laws of refraction, otherwise known as Snell's law, as it was given by Snell. The first point of Snell's law is similar to laws of reflection. It says that the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal lie in the same plane. Look here, all these three things lie in the same plane. This is what the, the first law says. Now we'll go to the second law. Second law of refraction says that sine of incident angle upon sine of angle of refraction will be equal to the ratio of refractive index of second medium to that of first medium. Here N2 stands for refractive index of the second medium. This is the second medium. And N1 stands for the refractive index of first medium. This is the first medium. In our case, we have taken air as the first medium and water as the second medium. And what do you mean by refractive index? I told you, these two things represent refractive index. Here the word index means measurement. It is the measure of refraction that a light undergo when it travels from one medium to another medium. I repeat, refractive index means the measure of bending of light. when it travels from one medium to another medium. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.